Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. All the high base, all the new high base. Welcome to my channel. And we're back to the basic guys. We're back to reviewing some shoes and unboxing some shoes. I know lately I've been doing quite a few events and all that stuff. That is not going to stop because I've got a wider audience. So if you like trainers and you watch trainer video or sneaker videos only, just bear with me. So I um, managed to get the Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows. And the thing about these shoes, I was trying to get them like four weeks ago and the price is still a bit high so i just waited and just thought i'll just see how the market goes and the shoes managed to fluctuate and come down i think also partly due to the jordan ones sorry due to the travis scott air force ones that are coming out as well so i think that sort of pushed the shoe down a little bit so i managed to purchase this shoe now these shoes are quite expensive they're not that cheap and they're very much in demand so yes guys so let's show you the box and so forth so the thing about travis scott these shoes are always a different color to your normal shoe. What I mean in essence, like, you know, with the Jordan 1s, you always get this sort of color for your Jordan 1s. But Travis Scott has managed to, um, to put a different color. You've got this chocolate sort of mocha color to it. And yeah, we're just gonna unbox the shoe, guys, and just get straight to it. And so we've got this pink reaping paper, which is, which is quite good. I like this color scheme. It goes together. The pink complements the red on the box. And it also complements the chocolate color as well. It does go together. Bit risky, but sometimes you've got to think outside the box, which is what we like about Travis Scott. It's so different. It's very, you know, it's very, it's very young. It's very different. It's, you know, it, no one tells him what to do. And he's so creative. And I think he's able to resonate with a lot of us young people. So we've got the Cactus Jack face there. Then we've got the Cactus Jack label. Then we've got the Jordan wing. Then obviously we've got the Nike there. So we shall open this raping paper. Yes, yeah, so what I've done is I've gone for the uh, pink laces as everyone else. But you get the, uh, the black laces and you also get the red laces. Though I've used my red laces for my Jordan 6 Travis Scott's. So we shall pull it out and just go through it, guys. Yes, so yes, this is the shoe itself. So unlike the, um, the Jordan 1 Travis Scott's highs, this part over here, the toe is actually black instead of white. And that as well, like uh, the black part over there. Whereas in the Jordan highs, it's actually white. And the tick in the Jordan ones, I believe is actually, it's actually black as well. But yes, it's the same shoe, but like in a lower version. Even though I prefer like the Jordan highs, but I think these are actually more comfortable. They're very easy to live with. And you're able to skate if you're a skater or run. If you've got money to run with these shoes, it's highest in demand as they are. As you can see, the shoe still got the uh, the inserts inside there as well. So we'll just pull that open, like so. And we'll start with the inside, guys. So the inside says Cactus Jack. I don't know if you can see this. Let's try and bring it close to the light. So the inside says Cactus Jack. You can see over there. Then you get the Jordan logo there. Then you get the cactus face as well. That's a nice little touch. Then obviously you get the chocolate thin. This is like a suede, so you have to make sure you get a suede cleaner. Now my shoes, all of them, I always make sure I spray crap protect. Then you get the pink laces, which I really, really love as well. And the chocolate thin continues on the bottom, on the sole itself. Now the difference with the other shoe Whereas with the Jordan highs, the back has just got the cactus faces. With this one, it's also got the Air Jordan wing, which is a nice little touch, which is different. I like it. Bam, look at that. Now on here, it says Travis Scott, but it, it doesn't say Cactus Jack, as it did there. It says Travis Scott, just bear with me one second. Gosh, these things are always stubborn. And so there we are, guys. So that says Travis Scott, but obviously it's in reverse. So the reverse theme kind of carries on from the tick outside. Another thing to also point out in case you've never seen these shoes before is though the tick is the opposite to like your normal Nike shoes, but then the inside is got the normal tick from left to right. And you also get the Cactus Jack emblem in there. And so do you on that one as well. So that is the Jordan Travis Scott ones, guys. We shall put these aside and also I shall show you, I shall show you, don't know why I said I shall show you. 
Mate, this flu is just killing me right now. So I shall show you quickly. I managed to get a pair of Air Force Ones from JD. These were actually a steal. I managed to get this UK size 11 for 45 pounds. Now these are completely different. I own two different type of Air Forces. I've got the black ones, the normal ones, I'll show you. One second. Okay, bear with me. So I've got your normal black ones, a bit dirty, need to get cleaned. Then I've got these babies over here, right? But these ones that I've got are actually classy. The colour is a bit different. It's the sort of colour scheme that you can't wear with everything. It's not like black, because black pretty much goes with everything, right? So, the box is upside down. Quite typical. So, that's the Air Force One there. Now, let's just let's just say, like, um, from the get-go, I'm not a fan of this uh, box itself. It's very cheap. It doesn't, it doesn't ooze quality as much as that box over there. I need to sort that out as soon as possible. So it doesn't lose quality, but what's inside is what's more important. Bam! Look at these babies. Managed to get this suede Air Force ones. Now I'm a size 11. Shout out to Supreme, shout out to Cause. Shout out to the gangster lady, saying F you to those girls over there. Moving on, not getting distracted. So as I was saying guys, so this is the Air Force ones that I managed to cop. For 45 pounds, they were on sale. So I'll just quickly go over them. So they're like a, a greyish sort of like light grey. I like the white tick as well and how it matches the heel. And you also get like, a, I don't know what colour would I say that is. It's sort of like a light sort of green on the back. Then you get the, the leather on the back as well. So it's like an Alcantara suede. And then on the inside, so on the toe, you get this cloth material as well. Now the only problem is like... um. The laces are a bit dead. So what sort of laces should I use for these shoes? I want to bring out the colour a little bit. I like to experiment with my uh, shoes. And uh, I like to like uh, use bright, 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 bright laces. So I'm not sure what sort of laces I'm going to use. But I actually love these shoes. These shoes only cost me £45. I had to buy them. Didn't plan on buying them. But I just thought, you know what? These are a steal. So what do you guys think? So we're just going to end the video guys, just want to say thank you for all your support and um, yes guys I'm also doing a giveaway for this channel when we get to 3,000 people that subscribe to me I've been loyal, I've been subscribing I shall be giving one lucky person £100 so just make sure you subscribe, you like, you share, you comment and you hit that bell notification thank you guys, wish you have a good, good day, take care, bye